feel that this is an extremely important issue. And if we don't share these lessons, then more firefighters could lose their lives in the future. Six years ago, this was the last normal night in the town of West Texas. The city rests along Interstate 35, less than 20 miles north of Waco. The community, known for its strong Czech heritage, has an active farming scene, and agriculture set the stage for tragedy. Fire broke out at West Fertilizer, April 17, 2013. As this recreation produced by the U.S. Chemical Safety Board shows, responding volunteer firefighters and those living nearby were not prepared for what happened next. In an instant, 15 people were dead. 11 of those victims were West firefighters. West has rebuilt. But what happened there is changing what local communities are doing today. KXAN investigator Aaron Cargyle took an in-depth look at Williamson County, 100 miles south of West, as they learn from disaster. So I'm um, second generation firefighter. Spent most of my life growing up in a fire station. Uh, my dad was retired fire chief from Bellmead. I graduated in 2012 um, West High School. One year later, Dylan Carl was responding to the biggest call of his life. The day of the explosion, um, I was at my, my house and, and the town's called Leroy. It's about seven miles away from, from West. I'm sitting at home with my parents and we hear the explosion because it, it's so just so loud. Carl's pager started beeping. He was a volunteer with the Elmont Fire Department and jumped in the car. The whole time I'm driving and I'm just looking at the smoke, thinking to myself, it's, this is bad. Like, this is, this is going to be bad. Everybody's on the radio, a lot of chaos. They're telling us that multiple firemen are down. Pulling into West, his team could see the aftermath. The intermediate school was on fire. Um, Word had came in that the high school was demolished. Um, Your high school? My high school. After fighting fires and moving people out of harm's way, he had the task of searching homes for anyone still trapped inside. We found this dog, and he's he's just scared to death, just shaking, and uh, pulled the sheetrock off of him, got him kind of cleaned off, and uh, we grabbed a, a comforter, kind of put him around him to kind of try to protect him. A small victory surrounded by tremendous loss. Carl was somewhat familiar with the fertilizer plant that blew up. I didn't know the, the extent of what all they had stored there. The West volunteer firefighters had no idea either, nor did they know how much damage the ammonium nitrate could do when mixed with fire. The red triangle that you see veering off to the top right, that's the plume model. Kyle McKnight is showing off new technology Williamson County is using as a direct result of West. This software program takes the hazardous materials inside more than 250 facilities in the county and paints first responders a true picture of the worst case scenario if a fire or explosion happens. The emergency management specialist has spent months verifying the information. We found on average about 80% of these reports had some kind of error, um, whether it was uh, the material not being reported completely, the material not being specific on exactly where on the facility it's being held. Why is uh, this so vital? even just for the regular person living in Williamson County. They can rest easy knowing that someone is looking at this data, validating it, and making sure that the appropriate information is being reported to our first responder organizations. So they can make quick decisions like prompting evacuations, something investigators say should have happened in West. So this is a uh, sticker tributing uh, the firefighters that perished. Two of them were fathers of his high school classmates. It's uh, important to me to uh, never forget these guys uh, and uh, what happened that day. It's kind of a tribute to them. Chemical information. It's also why he went on to become a certified hazmat technician to learn more about deadly chemicals. He's hoping his experience six years ago. That event was something that people don't see in their in their you know entire career. Is a catastrophe no community will ever face again. 
Williamson County was one of the first to test out the new technology. It's called Peak Web, and it's spreading to more places. In fact, just today, Travis County told me they've been using it for about a year. And after the West disaster, pre-planning was something the U.S. Chemical Safety Board said that cities could be doing better. What about the agency's other recommendations? That is something I've been digging into. I found out there are some recommendations that have not been implemented, specifically a recommendation for all volunteer firefighters in Texas to take a course and get a certification for ammonium nitrate training. There is a course, but it's not required, so I'm trying to figure out what percentage of VFDs are actually doing it because I found out nobody's tracking it. I'm going to have that full investigation for you at the end of this month right here on KXAN News at 10.